Morning, everybody. Um, I got a song I want to play for you that used to haunt me. My brother, well, uh, adopted brother, monster, um, recorded for me when I was 15. Then I wore the tape out. I couldn't find the song until last year, and I'm 60. So this song used to haunt me. Um, uh, it's uh, an incredible song. I'm not going to tell you the name of the band. I will write it to you because um, it's like me. It's so freaking ancient. They aren't going to be able to find it. And I'm not going to get another copyright strike. So, like, so much for that. So, I'm going to set you down over here and um, turn this on. And this is a message, actually, from God. Um, he literally always always keeps me safe and I wish the same for y'all too so um hang in there one minute I hope you can hear me but enjoy this song because I mean it with all my heart Maybe I can love you, maybe be your friend, maybe I can help you, your troubles to bear, maybe sing a song for you, that's what I know best to do, anything you want me to, I'll be. What we had to say Maybe when we close the door On all that's negative thought Any way you want it can be Any way you want it can be Lift your head now, tears you share Sing a song for you 
hope you loved it as much as I did. Um, yeah, I got a strike on my what's up. Wake up in the morning on the what's up. Yeah, creeps. It's a little overcast today. We got some rain last night, which is cool. Miss Bathsheba. Miss Lady. Oh, oh, pony. Yeah, she's right out there. She likes it when she's out in the summertime and she can be around everybody. She likes to sneak up on Doug. And um, one time she stepped on his foot and she wouldn't move. And she held him like in the backyard. And I thought that was hilarious. And knew she wasn't going to hurt him because she's got like such a big heart. Real tender heart. That's why um, she was so mean with everybody because they didn't realize um, she was just a baby that had been used and abused and given away and kind of like me we got a lot of shit in common me and that old big old horse <laughs> lean and mean i used to be lean mean barb clean now i'm lean and mean and i don't have a fucking name <laughs> that's bad right well it's the truth i never really had a name um well i was called kathleen marie and then my mom took me to the orphanage and then I, somebody took me for two weeks and brought me back, probably after they abused me. They said I was born with a herniated umbilical cord, but um, I wasn't born with nothing wrong with me. And uh, God keeps me strong, no matter my struggles or whatever, you know. So, oh, my changes, phone's changing color on me. But um, anyway... I just wanted to say hi. I just wanted to share my, um, oh, share my pony with you. There's Pony with a pretty smile. Dusty's all cute. Maybe I'll make her a bonfire later and come back and say a prayer for everybody's day. Right now, I just wanted to say God bless your day. And, uh, um, yeah, Doug's revving up something getting the probably getting starting something that hasn't been started for a while keep them running keep them keep them tip top unless they're for parts or or rare or rare parts that type of thing but i think he's kind of getting sick we're getting down to just a few things because no more working on anything actually he's retired or supposed to be or some some doggone thing but Birds are singing. Dusty's chicken is probably out there somewhere. Okay, my sweet friends, YouTube, people that hate me, people that don't hate me, because I'll never hate myself. So, like, good luck with all that bad shit, people, you know. And I know what you mean by good luck. <laughs> That's funny shit. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotcha. Um because I already bless God's babies with all those bad words and spells you use on their asses. That'll never work again. They're covered. And the 2011 date was a year after I married, and that was enough of that for me. At that point, after a year, I said, I'll give you a year to see what you are really like. In that extreme because we lived in separate rooms and raised our kids and uh, I was moral <laughs> at least I tried to be you know right after I made that mistake it's like well I'm either gonna marry or not and kind of undecided and it's like well damn I have all my time planted all this stuff thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff and um, this was just a cornfield that had been just farmed out it was horrible it was ugly and we both worked hard but I, I worked my ass off around here and planted even like my grandfather's my grandmother my dead grandma adopted but still her flowers that I took care of when I was a little girl I got them planted here and lilacs from my ma's house even though she's a witch she really is a eastern star witch you know but whatever that's all I had you know was evil so I tried to make them better and took the good the best I could all through that. And God kept me safe. That's the only, only parent I ever had. We'll say good morning to Bobby. Bobby, say hi, YouTube.
Can you say hi? Hey, look into the camera and smile. Bobby, I love you. Say, good morning, YouTube. Good morning. Oh, hey, you. Hello? Oh, sorry, guys. I tipped you. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to. Um, shut this down, say God bless your day, and peace from the original flower child. Not a hippie. Okay, you guys, because I would never take my clothes off in front of people like them rude, like my, my natural birth mother, and then she moved to California after she had me and had more kids and stuff, and it's like, well, women, and um, out on the streets with my sister, and oh, Wicked, wicked, which is everybody, everybody that raised me, everybody I went around, it was um, freaking hideous. I don't know if I was happy to meet all that or not. Um, like my little brothers and sisters and my um, sisters, even though they were led astray, and they're in my heart. They're, they're probably going to be okay, you know, because when you're led astray that deep, it's really not your fault. We put on one person. Don't forget, don't blame anybody. It's hard for me not to. But if we do have right, righteous judgment from God, he gives us, you know, we, we have the right to determine who is good in our lives and who is not. And if they're not, and you're in the position that you're actually battling that for God, boy, that's a second-by-second second walk with your Lord. Like, every second, every, well, we should be anyway. Every time we walk out in public, we should be determining, uh, are these good or bad? And if they're bad, like maybe give them a smile, try and encourage some good in there. If that don't work, you know, it's like, look at them like you're just going to die. And that's kind of X marks the spot God sees through your eyes. And it's a sickening feeling. I actually kind of hate it. I bet you guys do too. It gets all. When you're good, um, you're just good. You don't take that shit. And you can swear about it. That's not cussing out God. That's not being vile. That's expressing yourself. And I'm, I mean, if kids are around, then you're really rude and you're beyond gross. And I had to control that shit after I went through a divorce with two boys. It's like, whoa. I went and got some counseling help for myself, even though I've been a counselor. She says, you're okay. All we can do is, like, give you some drugs. And <laughs> I said, yeah, you can't take a pill for sadness. You know, nothing helps. You just got to keep asking God to hold on to your hand. And, okay. Love ya. Later, later, guys. I'll come back with something special.